Welcome to Kendra Engineering College, Department of uh, Mechanical Engineering. So today in module one, that is introduction to sensor and transducer, we will discuss, which will be the third lecture of this particular subject. So let's go in detail with respect to the topic. So the second part of the first module would be transducers and sensors. So here we are going to discuss on what is the meaning of a transducer, what do you mean by sensor and then what are the terminologies that is associated with a sensor and transducer and what are the different types and classification of sensor and transducer and also we will discuss on what are the different types of sensors available and its working principles. Okay, let us go one by one. First of all, we need to know what is the meaning of a sensor or what is the definition for a sensor. So here we have it. The word sensor, it is derived from the entire meaning to perceive and transducer is from transducer meaning to lead across. So indirectly, what I'm trying to tell is a sensor means it is able to sense something or it is able to receive something and transducer once it is received to take it further or to lead across that is the function of transducer. So sensor will do the function of taking something and transducer will do the function of whatever is taken to take it further. So this is how we can define sensor and transducer in a simpler way. Now. The dictionary definition for a sensor is that a device that is can detect a change in the physical stimulus and turn it into a signal that can be measured or recorded. So here what they are trying to tell is for the definition of a sensor, it is able to detect a change in the physical stimulus. So sensor should be capable of finding any change in physical stimulus and that change in the physical stimulus sensor is capable of turning it into a signal that can be measured or recorded. The corresponding definition for transducer is that is a device that transfers power from one system to another in the same form or in different form. So transducer what they are trying to tell is it means it can convert energy from one form to another form. So function of transducer is to convert the energy or transfer the energy or transfer the power from one system to another in the same form or in the different form. So the energy transmission can happen in the same form, for example, electrical to electrical or it's from electrical to some different form like electrical to a sound like that. Next, what is the definition that we can write for the exam for if the sensor definition is asked? This would be the best definition that we can write. A sensor converts one form of energy into same or another form of energy with exactly the same information content as that of the originating energy form. So this would be the best definition that we can write for a sensor. And a good example for that is the sound from a mic to a loudspeaker through an amplifier. So what is the function of mic? The mic will receive the sound what we talk and what it does through the amplifier and the mic, the amplifier will amplify the signal and whatever sound we have put to the mic, that sound get amplified or the volume get increased and that is sent to the speaker or that is the output from the speaker. So this is a good example for the sensor where same information content as that of the same energy form. So initially here, what was the sound energy that we gave? It was sound energy and it was converted into what? It was converted again into sound energy only. But the only thing is, what was the function here? 
sound was having very low volume it got converted into very high volume or it was made loud and how they could do it by using a mic and through a amplifier so this is a good example for a sensor now what is a transducer transducer means it can be defined as a device that is capable of converting energy from one form into another form so conversion of energy from one form to another is generally done by using a transducer usually speaking transducer and sensor it almost means the same okay so here in the next statement you will come to know regarding that so a transducer can be found both at the input as well as at the output stage of the measuring system or else the input transducer is also called as a sensor okay the input transducer we can also call it as a sensor because it senses the desired physical quantity and converts it into the required energy form the output transducer is called as a actuator so input transducer we call it as a sensor so as i told you sensor and transducer it almost means the same an input transducer can also be called as a sensor and an output transducer is also be called as a actuator now when we are going for designing a sensor or a transducer there are certain terms that is required for us to know certain terminologies that is associated with a sensor and a transducer so here we are, we are going to discuss on that the first term which is called as range and span now what is range range means for example consider you are having a scale with you a steel rule which is of 15 cm length now what is range here range is the values that i can measure by using that 15 cm scale that is the meaning of range and what is span span refers to the maximum value that i can measure using that scale so quoting an example of scale which is of 15 cm length the range can be from 1 mm to 15 cm anything between that any value i can measure for example 2 cm 3 cm 5 cm 16 14 cm or 14.5 cm all the values which come between this we call it as a range and what is span span is the maximum value that i can measure what is the maximum value that i can measure by using a 15 cm scale it is 15 cm so that is the difference between range and span good example is quoted over here with respect to a transducer also next one is called as error what is error error means there is some mistake or there is something wrong with the measurement what does it mean if at all i want to define it in better words it is the difference between the result of the measurement and the true value of the quantity that is been measured okay so it means if at all i am measuring by using a measuring instrument and that measuring instrument is supposed to give me a value for example say 20 degrees celsius and if it is not giving 20 degrees celsius and if it is showing more than that or less than that then that more value or that lesser value how much ever it is that more or less value becomes an error so the other definition i can tell error means it what it is the difference between the true value and the measured value true value means it is the standard value measured value is the value that i am measuring using the particular equipment or using the particular sensor now the difference between that if there is any difference then that difference is called as an error if there is no difference between the measured value and the true value then there is no error let us take an example consider i am supposed to measure a temperature of 20 degree celsius okay now by using a thermometer i am measuring or by using a thermocouple i am measuring a temperature of 20 degree celsius and if the thermocouple is showing exactly 20 degree celsius there is no error instead of showing 20 degree celsius if it is showing 21 degree celsius it is showing 1 degree more means there is an error of 1 degree and it is showing more than the uh, true value so we call that error as positive error in case if it is showing 19 degree instead of showing 20 degree means it is showing 1 degree less than the true value so if it is showing lesser than that we call it as a negative error so error means it is the difference between the true value and the measured value and there are two types of error they are called as positive error and negative error positive error means 
when the measured value is more than the true value when the measured value is less than the true value we call it as negative value so here we have an example with respect to temperature i have told 20 degree so here we have mentioned 50 degree as an example next terminology is called as accuracy accuracy means it is the extent to which the value indicated by a measurement system might be wrong. That is the meaning of accuracy. So accuracy means in other words, if I tell, it is the closeness of the measured value with respect to the true value. How close is the measured value with respect to the true value? That is called as accuracy. More closer if it is with respect to the true value, then it is more accurate. For example, if the true value is 20, and the measured value is 19.98 then we can tell it is very much accurate is that clear the next term so here i have already called, quoted an example this is one more example with respect to a voltmeter where a voltmeter is having an accuracy of plus or minus five percentage and if the full range value is zero to thousand then the accuracy of plus or minus five percentage of thousand would be plus or minus 50. So this voltmeter can have an accuracy of 1050 or it's 950. Okay. What is sensitivity? This is again the next terminology that comes into picture, which is called as sensitivity. Sensitivity means we can define it as the ratio of output to the input. How much, what is the value of output to that? If I divide it by the input, the ratio of that is defined as sensitivity or else if at all I need to put it in terms it is the relationship indicating how much output we get per unit input that is the meaning of sensitivity and we have an example here a voltmeter may be may have a sensitivity of plus or minus one percentage of the reading per degree change in the temperature or any other external disturbances this is one good example that we can quote with respect to a sensitivity Next thing is called as hysteresis error. What is hysteresis error? It is again a type of error where when I take a set of reading by increasing the quantity and when I take a set of reading by decreasing the quantity, if there is any difference in that, then we call that error as hysteresis error. I put a graph and then you can understand that in a better way. So look at this particular graph. Here in this particular graph, you can see when the value is increased for example i am putting uh, tomatoes to a weighing machine and it is showing the value of one kg of tomato by adding each tomato like 100 grams 200 grams 300 grams 400 500 then thousand that is when i keep adding the tomatoes when i take the tomatoes one by one instead of showing 900 800 700 it, if it is showing 700 600 650 400 300 200 and then zero then while increasing the load it went from one path while decreasing the load it took another path so the difference between that we call it as an error and this type of curve is generally called as an hysteresis curve and the error that happens because of it is called as a hysteresis error thank you